Hey everybody, it's DJ Jerry here, and uh, we're doing a shop time video of actually installing Chauvet Show Express. Uh, I know I've had a lot of questions on uh, how much does the software cost, a little bit of, on how to do the install. So one thing I'm actually going to explain to you is how to do the install and how to how to get it onto your computer. Um, the nice thing about Chauvet Show Express is the software actually doesn't cost anything. Uh, the only the only things that you really need to purchase are going to be the dongle box, uh, which is the silver box, or there's also a, a little USB flash drive type uh, type system with a XLR cord uh, or a DMX cord coming out of it. So the thing uh, the, on how to get the software, just go to ChauvetLighting.com. You can see that right here. Go to Chauvet Lighting and click on Chauvet DJ. And once it processes into there, then go ahead and scroll down and you will see controllers. Go ahead and click on controllers and that will take you to the access point for all of the, uh, the controllers that they currently have out with the obeys, um, all the different options. But what you wanna do is scroll down to Show Express. Click on Show Express. These are all left clicks. And then go ahead and scroll down again and you will see Show Express Download. Please click here. Go ahead and click on here. And it will take you to this page. Now, you have to understand that this is compatible with a couple different options. Uh, it's Mac, Windows, and Android. And Android basically gives you the opportunity to use your phone as a uh, controller or a wireless system. Um, but the thing is you have to use a, a wireless feed uh, within a network and I'll kind of explain that as we get deeper into Show Express. But for PC, uh, you just add the version right here. And most systems are going to require a driver. The nice thing about Max is you don't need the driver. The driver is actually installed in the version. Uh, but uh, you just need to make sure that you um, click on the drivers and add those drivers as well. So when you click on the version 6. Point, this is the current one, 6.333. Click on that. <clears throat> excuse me, and it will show you that uh, you can now open it or you can save file. Um, I always recommend saving the file. It's just a little bit uh, a little bit safer uh, for some reason if something would happen when you're at a show and you need to reinstall the program, you can just uh, reinstall it right there. So at the top, you will see you can download uh, or you can open up the zip file. When you click on the zip file, it's going to give you this option right here. And with Show Express, uh, one thing that, again, just to be safe, you can drag it onto your desktop. Once you've done that, it'll show you the new version here. The version I have is the old uh, beta version, um, so I actually need to do an install anyways. Go ahead and double click with your left. And if you get this, it's just asking you, do you have permission? Yes, you have permission. You're giving it permission. And then just walk through the steps. It's going to ask you a couple of simple questions. Um, click the next button to continue or cancel to exit the setup. Just go ahead and click on next. And you have to accept the agreement. Um, if you're really worried about the agreement and you want to read through it, feel free to do so. Um, but they're all pretty similar. I accept the agreement, click next. And then it's saying, do you want to um, put it into this file? Uh, just to keep it consistent, we just leave it as is. Don't change anything there. And then also, uh, same thing, Show Express. I'll just click next there. Create a, a desktop icon. We always recommend doing that just because then you'll have this little icon on your desktop and available at all times. And click install. And then it goes to the installation process, uh, which uh, is basically all of the, the gobos, the fixtures, uh, any seams, anything like that. So this will basically put all of the system requirements. Um, everything that you would need to run Express, it will actually run, it'll install that at this point. Just be patient and I'll sing you guys a little song as we, as we wait here. Since it's Christmas, I'll do a little jingle. No, I'm not going to do any jingle bells. Sorry guys. We'll just be patient. So again, this is basically the same process uh, for a Mac version. Uh, Macs again, will also walk you through the steps. Uh, basically just clicking on the next button, getting through the next point. 
And uh, it, again, it's really simple. Um, the nice thing again with having the software is you can actually install the software, play around with the software before you make that investment into that dongle box um, because, you know, get used to the programs and you'll actually be able to, uh, the, the upcoming videos, you'll be able to learn how to do the install of fixtures, um, how to set the fixtures up, um, how to create scenes, how to create uh, chases and things like that. So make sure you check this out. This is very obviously entry level. Um, basically, it's just installing a regular Windows program. Click on finish. And now I should have the new version of Show Express on my computer. And it should show um, right now, no universe found. And basically what that means, I had a couple questions on that. What that means is your dongle box was not plugged in before you started up the program. Now understand you can't open this screen and then plug your program box in, or your, your dongle box in because it needs to detect the dongle box before you open up the software. Again, very important, make sure your dongle box is in first and then go ahead and open up the program. Uh, and then once you do that, you'll notice on your dongle that there's actually a little light that will blink green saying that it is active and that it did find it. Once you have that dongle box plugged in and you start the program up, you will see here it'll say DMX 512 or DMX 100 or DMX 512 plus. So again, very important to make sure that you have that box plugged in first before you actually open up the program. Guys, hopefully this was uh, helpful for you. And if you have questions, um, please let me know. The next thing we're going to be doing is basically talking about what all these icons do and when you right click, what all of this means. So make sure you keep in, uh, keep in touch with us uh, as we go through the process here of uh, understanding how to use Show Express because if you know how to use it, you can do some pretty powerful things and we look forward to showing you guys that. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I will see you guys next time on Shop Time. This is DJ Jer out. And uh, if you have questions, contact me, Jeremy at shop, or sorry, Jeremy at DJJerShopTime.com. New address, new email, so we can make sure to answer any questions that you guys have. DJ Jer out. Thanks for watching, guys.